According to Consumer Reports, these are the pickup truck models that ranked highest in reliability based on results from over 500,000 owners surveyed along with performance data from previous years. This is a compliment video to the pickup trucks that ranked lowest in reliability. A link to that video is in the description below. Let's get started. At number 6, the Ford F-150. Since the 2015 redesign, the F-150 has mostly lived up to its Ford Tough billing. Among other things, that serves as an endorsement for the aluminum content in this vehicle. Powertrain, climate, suspension, and brake functions have been excellent, according to feedback from owners. The only flaws reported in recent years were minor issues with power equipment, like windows and locks, and in-car electronics like the infotainment. Overall, Consumer Reports predicted average reliability for the 2019 F-150, which is good enough to rank it among the best. At number 5, the Honda Ridgeline. From 2010 to 2015, the Ridgeline ranked as the most reliable truck outside of full-size models. It scored above average every year. Since then, this model has rated average, though feedback has not identified a significant number of trouble spots. According to owner feedback, some issues with the climate system were the most notable complaints of recent years. Overall, Ridgeline has ranked among most satisfying vehicles for owners, so it's clear this model has met the expectations of buyers. At number 4, the Nissan Frontier. Looking back over the decade, Nissan Frontier has posted as many strong reliability ratings as any compact or mid-sized truck. The only complaints from owners have centered around body integrity and the fuel system. Meanwhile, it remains the lowest price model on the market. Since the Frontier hasn't seen a redesign in over a decade, there's no reason to expect its dependability to slip much for 2019. As a result, Consumer Reports predicted average reliability for this year's model. At number 3, the Ram 2500. There are a few reasons for caution with Ram heavy-duty trucks. For starters, the 3500 edition ranked as the least reliable vehicle on sale in America for 2019. Problems with the transmission, fuel system, drive system, and suspension prompted bad feedback. However, owners of the Ram 2500 edition told a very different tale in recent years. The only issues centered around suspension and body integrity, based on the 2017 models. That feedback made Consumer Reports predict solid average reliability for 2019. That is far better than the rating for any GM model. At number 2, the Ford F-250. In the full-size pickup segment, average reliability ranks you among the best. That's how the Ford F-250 got near the top of this list for 2019. Predicted performance was slightly better than the Ram 2500 and the F-150 for the upcoming year. As far as problems go, owners cited some issues with cabin electronics, power functions, and suspension. Cushy rides rarely come standard with heavy-duty trucks. Overall, the consistency of F-250 throughout the decade earned it this rating for 2019. And the most reliable pickup truck in 2019 Consumer Reports rankings? The Toyota Tundra. There's only one pickup that consistently rates above average for reliability, and it's the Toyota Tundra. This model has been that way the entire decade, which made it easy for Consumer Reports to predict another strong year in 2019. However, that's not to say it's the best truck, far from it in fact. Compared to the competition, Tundra ranked below average for fuel economy. Meanwhile, its road test score was way behind that of the F-150 and the Ram 1500. But since we're strictly talking reliability here, the Tundra is in a class by itself. That's at least one reason why it had such low depreciation over the years. Again, to find out the pickup trucks that ranked lowest in reliability, check out the link below this video. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.